Hello, Rockers and Mercuryans. Rock Mercury here. Welcome to the Rock Mercury Podcast. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, I am having a shake today, shake tonight, before I like braid my hair. I'm just going to sit and chat with you guys, braid my hair up, drink this shake. This vegan shake with some vegan protein, very expensive vegan protein powder. Oh my god, this stuff is like $50 a bag, you guys. It's so crazy. But it's worth it because it's delicious and it's all plant-based and healthy. So, yeah. I'm going to drink this down and then I'm going to spend the rest of the night uploading videos and cleaning my room. I have laundry to do. I have organization. Um, I'm waiting on... Some things for my business, so I just I kind of need to just get everything in order. I feel like nothing's better when you have a clean space in the morning. So I'm hoping to wake up in the morning and just be like, okay, everything's in order, everything's in place. I can start doing my teas at night because like what I really want to do. I love these shakes, but I really want to start doing my teas again at night. You guys know I, I love I love my bilingual balanced teas that I drink. Um, so it would be great if I could um, sip on those instead. So I'm just letting y'all know. But for now, I'm going to be drinking on my little shake moment right here. Mm. Oh my God, so good. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely delicious. So, anyway, I want to chat with you guys about Miss Cleo. <laughs> I was just watching some Miss Cleo video. Apparently, there's a um, documentary coming out about her life. Um, and Raven Simone's in it, but she's not playing, she's not playing her, but she's in it. She's like, gets interviewed in it and stuff like that. Um, but I was thinking about her because I remember growing up, Miss Cleo was everywhere on TV. Call me now for your free reading, call me now. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I would love to be like doing that these days, like doing that. Call me now, let me read your life. But it's, I feel like she was kind of a scammer because a lot of those tarot card re readers, they don't really know what they're talking about, they just be reading the cards. And going off of what they feel internally. Um, she passed away of colon cancer in 2016. July 2016, I believe that's correct. Um, her name wasn't even Miss Cleo. It wasn't Cleo anything. Um, but she passed away. So I guess they're making a documentary to kind of commemorate her. Um, or just tell her story. So I'm interested. I'm, I'm going to watch it when it comes out. I'm very curious. Very, very curious about that situation. Oh, oh God. Why am I so sleepy? Oh, okay. So, yeah. I find it very, like, very interesting that they're going to tell that story. A lot of people in the new generation don't even know who Ms. Cleo is. You know, I just watched the video before I came on here. This guy was saying um, that his son asked him, like, what year he was, born, he, was, he was born. He said, what year were you born, Dad? And he said, 1983. And then he, he asked him, he was like, were you a slave? <laughs> and I was laughing so hard because I feel like so many people, so many of the young generation is born in the 2000s. And so they feel like the 1900s are like slavery times or something but the real answer is yes son yes we are all still slaves um but it's just hilarious that a lot of people don't even know the groups that we grew up with like some people don't even know what destiny child is it's like what in the world like is this really what getting old feels like is this really it that's this is what it feels like to just be turning ancient it's nerve-wracking to me. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I just never thought I'd be old. You know, you grow up, you think that you're going to be young forever. You got to really hold on and enjoy to your youth. Not hold on to it, but embrace it. Um, honor it. Because it's going to go. It's going to go at some point. I was born in 1990. So, I mean, people feel like that's old. Some people, young people. I guess, I don't know. I don't really talk to that many people. 
But I can see how people might consider that to be like older or whatever. Wait, did I? Hold on. Ooh. Doggone, I got a little piece of this braid out. I gotta start over again. I gotta start over. I got to start over. I'm not going to the gym tonight because I'm gonna go tomorrow in the middle of the day instead. Because tomorrow's gonna be a really pretty day. Tomorrow is gonna be like um 76 degrees in houston and we've been freezing lately we had like really icy weather and power outages not in my house but in the area there has been power outages around houston and um freezes people people like one of our houses one of my family's houses the um the pipes froze over and it's just it's really hectic you know it's scary to see <laughs> those kind of temperatures come out of nowhere and then go back to 76 degrees like what in the world so even today was cold but tomorrow is going to be warm tomorrow just it's going to warm up again so i'm excited for it so i figure i'm just going to hold off on my gym session today so that i can go tomorrow and go to the hot tub outside and go live with you guys there um, my first time back at the spa since the freeze. Um, that's the goal. That is the goal. And then at some point, I still need to do a video where I open my new Beats. I got the new Beats Pro Studio Pro. Oh, I can't wait. They're wireless. They're beautiful. Cannot wait to open these, you guys. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Um, but yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I honestly haven't even seen that they connect to my Logic Pro X because it's like Bluetooth. So I'm hoping that I can hear it live. You know, sometimes there's a little bit of like delay when you're when you're editing music, and so I hope, hope there's no delay on it. We'll see. We will see because I do use Logic Pro X to produce my songs. I have a new song out right now called Billy by Rock Mercury. Just say, hey Siri, play Billy by Rock Mercury. Or say, hey Alexa, play Billy by Rock Mercury. Or hey Cortana, play Billy by Rock Mercury. Google Assistant, play Billy by Rock Mercury. You know, hopefully all of y'all's things are going off right now. Playing my new song. Um, I love my new song. But the next song is going to be even better. So I'm super excited. Let's want to get better and better each time. That's the goal right now. I have all this new equipment. Spent thousands of dollars on new equipment. And now I'm just ready to like make excellent music. Because I'm done looking for a producer. Like I'm very specific when I work with people. Like I just don't trust a lot of people. Especially when it comes to my music. I want it to be a certain way. And there's nothing bad about these producers. Every producer has a vision too. And I get it. I just want mine to be the way I want it to be. Maybe in the future, I'll be open to work with other producers, but I've already done that. I've already written with other producers, and I just feel like the best way to keep my freedom is to self-produce completely from scratch. I don't care if it doesn't sound the best, but it's unique, you know? My music is unique. It doesn't sound like anybody else's, that's for sure. And that's, I mean, not that it's a bad thing to sound like other people, but it's just, you know, I'm just doing something new. It's something that, that feeds my soul. So as I get better and better, um, we'll just see the progress happen. This is, I've already made over a hundred songs already at this point. So <sighs> they're all on all the platforms. So this one's going to keep on putting one out. I, I really, my goal this year, I really want to put out a song a day. Like I want it so badly. You guys, you don't understand. I really want to be able to put a song out a day. You know what? I should think about that now. Like, what would that look like? If I was to make a song a day, how would I do that in a day? Like, my days are really full already. I already I own multiple companies. I come live with you guys. I eat, I eat on live with you guys. And I, I um, keep an eye on my nephew and I help raise him. I love him. He's just so adorable. Um, take my Take my nature walks, go to the gym. Like, I have a lot of things going through the day. So, I'm trying to figure out how I would, how I would manage to produce a song each day. Because that's, that's really what I want. And the reason why is because I come up with so many songs and I already have them written and ready to like record. 
I have so many songs and I just feel like I don't want to pass away one day and then not have all my songs out. That like terrifies me. Um, I don't, I'm not afraid of passing away. It's just more of like to not have my songs out. Like that's, that's so scary. Mm. I don't like that. And so if I can, if I can just like record every day Cause I don't come up, I don't write a new song every day. I write a new song like maybe every week or so. It used to be every day. And sometimes it comes to me randomly. Like if I think right now, I can make a new song right now. But I don't, I'm, I'm trying not to so that I can focus on the ones I have already. <laughs> I have so many out. I want to cut out, put out. But um, that's just what I want to do. I want to put all my music out. And sometimes I feel like I have so many other companies going. Um that I love, I'm thankful for my, like, I have a real estate company I own, I have a marketing and branding company, I work with amazing clients that I'm thankful for, um, but my goal is to automate those businesses completely to where I can manage them, like, I want to be able to keep an eye on what's going on, but I want them to be able to run without me having to be so involved in every step, you know, so I have, like, people that I trust who are top quality, top tier, who are managing the projects, making sure everybody's getting the best service. But it's hard for me to do that because I really want things to be a certain way. Like, I want to make the decisions on my clients. I want to make sure that it's at my level of, of my level of quality that I want it to be at. So it's going to be a little challenging to let go of the control part of that. Like, to be like... Like really like give the give the power over to my managers and stuff that I hire. Um, but I gotta do it because if I'm gonna be rec making a new song each day, I won't have time to be managing micromanaging each project. I won't have time. But the people I work with now are amazing. Like I have amazing employees and contractors that I collaborate with that are just. You know phenomenal they really have an eye for quality and for customer service like they're very talented people very kind people um professional because i have to get rid of a lot of people that were not that they were not giving that <laughs> they were giving um they were giving ghetto um unreliable just not not what i was looking to give they were not giving the give that i deserve to get um, so I just, I feel like I just need to stay on this grind, like stay on this grind for a moment until I find somebody that I really feel I can trust with these projects, because I don't think I'll ever just be completely out of it. I just want to be kept in the loop. I want to be in the email, so I'm like watching the things happen, and I want to send like, one sentence emails back be like okay i like this i approve that change this color um get this back to them please cool and that's it you know the i want to be like simple emails because everything is so going well that they just want my feedback i want to look at the because we we do creative we focus ma mainly on creative um designing people's websites their logos their entire branding their fonts their um their ad their ad campaigns commercials like we do it all when it comes to the the creative side. So I wouldn't mind like watching or looking at the the like the result of the product that the, that the client's looking for just to see if I like if I have any notes on it. But then my team is managing the project coming to fruition. <sighs> because in order to put a song out a day. I would need to wake up in the morning um, early and I would have to like go through the song, go through the actual like the raw lyrics, make sure the lyrics are and the flow is right and then go in, like maybe eat breakfast, come back into the song, get the beat down, you know, make sure that the, that the drums, like the sound of the drums is correct. I want to do that on live. I want it to go live while I do this, while I do certain parts of the song. And then I would 
add the vocals on the beat because I don't want to do the whole situation. Like I want the beat and the the beat itself and the vocals are the most important. The beat has to go first just to like keep the groundwork for the pace of the song and then put the vocals on it and then from there I'll add the other instruments around the vocals and around like or add it around that. Like I feel like that might be the way I could do that. And that could be like later on in I could do vocals. I could do vocals like before my gym session. Because when I do vocals, I do it quick. I do one take vocals now. I used to do a take longer, but now I just want to do one take all the way through the song with the drum kit. You know, not the drum kit. Like I make my own drum sounds. I have my own like drum, like my drum kit um, mixing board from, from native instruments. So I'll use that to create the beat. Maybe in the morning I do that. Maybe in the morning I get the beat down with the song. I get the look at the lyrics, get the beat ready, and then like before before I go to the gym, um, do the vocals real quick. Listen to the vocals at the gym. Try to think about what other instruments I want to put into it, um, and then add the instruments after. Because if I add all the instruments, it's gonna be too busy. That's what I feel like happens a lot. It's like the song can get way too busy. Um, if I don't layer it around the vocal. So I'm going to try that for this new song coming out. Um, especially because the pace of this song is very specific. And I want the vocals to lead it, not the instrument to lead it. Because you can hear the difference when a song is led by the instrument. But, uh, compared to like the actual vocal like performance. So that's the goal for this one. I'm, I'm hoping it works out. The first time I've done it this particular way. So we'll see. But that's it. that excites me. And then, so let's say, let's say I got the vocals done. Go to the gym. Come back. Hang out with the baby. While I like think of other instruments, I can have. I can like be figuring out some other instrumental sounds. Um. And then once I add those instruments in. Like this, in different embellishments in the song, mix and master it at nighttime, and release it. Like keep it quick, mix and master and release it. Like I feel, like that is possible, if I can work fast. Cause sometimes I get caught in my head and I'm like trying to really think of how I want to change something or, like, do I really want it this way? Do I want it to sound like that? Like I just keep thinking different things, but if I can create, if I can do that every day. Put a song out every single day, cause I can release it quickly from from my digital distributors, which I love them. You guys go to rockmercury.com, click on partners. You can release on digital as well. I love them so much. Yeah. They've been so amazing for to me. Um. So I just feel like if I can get that flow every single day. Mm, I feel, feel so fulfilled. And then I have all the artwork. I have the album artwork already, so I could just pick the album artwork while I'm at the gym or something. Just kind of look through my pictures that I have for my AI-generated art. Pick the favorite one that matches the song. And put that out. Put it on out. I think one thing i got to do, though, is move each photo I choose. i got to move it out of that folder. Because I'm going to end up using the same one twice on accident. <laughs> I have so many pictures on here, but, you know, I just have to make sure I choose the right ones. And then I'm going to make some merchandise out of it. Maybe the same day, but that's a lot of work. I mean, that's the thing. If I'm doing it every day, then the day resets. The day will reset every single day. And I have to like, make another song the next day. So I'm like, I need, still need time to make my merchandise. So there's no there's no real time to be the main manager of my businesses like that. Like I'm gonna always run my businesses because I'm gonna use them for my own brand. Like I need marketing for my own brand. I'm always gonna be in real estate investment. So I'll have like admin support me with that. But when it comes to making songs each day, like that is the key. Like that's really what I wanna do more than anything. Also, I'm so thankful to be single so so thankful because 
where would I even put a partner in that? I really think about sometimes I'm like, sometimes I get so lonely, can't let just anybody hold you are the one that lives in me, my dear, I want no one but you. But then a lot of times I'm just like, oh gosh, I don't want nobody. I'm really like, how would I have time to date anybody when I'm making a song a day? So I think maybe I should just like stay single for at least a while. I don't know when I'll ever have time. I want to make a song a day every day until I like pass away, you know? Hopefully when I'm old, but who knows in this life, you never know how long you live. I'm already thankful I made it to 30. I'm 32 now, so I made it pretty far for a black man in this country. Um, December's here, what's up Shay? <laughs> She's in the Hey Felicia braids, yas. Um, bye Felicia. So, yeah, I think that, I mean, I still do want a partner. Let's think, okay, let's imagine that same day I talked about. But what if I had a partner, too? Like, what if I was dating someone in a relationship? Um, when would I have time for them? When would I actually have time for that partnership? Because I don't really want anybody else's feedback when it comes to, comes to my music. I just want to put the music I want to put out. I don't want to hear anybody's anything because that's where I get very sensitive about my music. I'm like, people think they have another vision or they think it should sound, sound a certain way. Like, I hear how I want my song to sound in my head and I want to get to that space. I don't want to hear anybody else. I want it to be pure from what I have. And so it takes a lot of time to put that all together. So when would I go on dates and stuff? And when would I be with that partner and... I don't know if I would have time for that. I mean, because I want to hang out with my family. I mean, they could be at dinner with me and stuff. They could be chilling. What's on your pants or is that my screen? Something's on my pants? Oh, it's hair. It's hair. Um, probably my ends being detangled. A lot of my hair doesn't come out because of like the way I do it, the way I just like braid it each day. Like it, I, I, I lose way less hair nowadays. I use way lose way less hair, so I really appreciate that. Like, love that. I'm not trying to be bald headed scallywag. Not trying to do that. Let's braid this beard up. And then we're going to get cleaning for the rest of the day. Cleaning, cleaning. And upload some more of these videos. That's right. Sweet doggy. Sweet, sweet doggy. Um, but yeah, y'all. Like, I just... I don't know. Like, I want that partnership. But I want... I want my, um... I want my music more than anything. I want my creations. Like, I really don't know when I would have time. I'm really, like, I'm really thinking about this now. Like, when actually would I really have time to be dating someone? Like, what do you have to do when you date? I go on dates and stuff. Like, I mean, I've been married before. But that was not a healthy marriage. So I don't know, like, what you would, like, require to do in a relationship. Like, they have their own thing going on. Maybe I could take certain days off or something. I could do certain things, but if I took a day off, I would probably just want to wake up early and just do the whole session in the morning or something and then hang out with them in the daytime or pick like a some time off to hang out with them. I don't know. But I do, like, I, I want that kind of partner. Like, I have to, I want to manifest the partner I want. Like, I don't think I want to stay single. Again, I don't. I mean, I, I want nothing to do with my, any of my exes. I think that they're all, they all like, they're lucky that, that they even got a chance with me. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy that they got a chance. But I don't want any of them back. It's just more of like, if I got a new one, like, how would I balance that? Because relationships are a lot of time. But I guess they don't have to be. I guess you can, like, just say that you only have certain days you can hang out. Or they can hang out with you. Like, I wouldn't mind if they're around often, but they're doing their own thing. 
They're not really bothering me. They're just chilling and doing their own thing too. We hang out. We go we go walking together and we can go to the grocery store together. Like I like doing simple things. That'll be fun. Um, what did you eat for dinner? I ate leftovers. Christmas leftovers still. <laughs> and some lentils and quinoa. It was good. It was good. I had some for lunch and dinner because I made a big old plate. I did a video about it. Weren't you on that video earlier? I think you were there. Maybe you weren't. From earlier today when I ate those leftovers. There was so much. I'm so full still. But this shake is perfect for me right now. December issue. Um, Shay says, I'm at peace right now in my single life. And I'm scared of being disrupted. LOL. I so feel you, Shay. Shay, I literally feel you so much. Like, I can't imagine being disrupted right now. Like, if things are going so well. And to have somebody be like, You don't spend time enough on me. Do, 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 do. You don't do this and you don't do this and you don't do that. I need a refund. I need to send that A back. Like, no. I don't want any of that. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want like a hot, you know, partner, you know, for other reasons, for, you know, um, partnership reasons and companionship reasons. But I just, uh, they have to be the right person. I think the right person doesn't disrupt your life. That's probably what it is. The right, having the right person to be in a relationship with, you won't feel disrupted. You'll only feel added to, you'll feel elated. Like, I, I remember when I was first with my ex, like, I felt really amazing, but I was projecting a person that I thought that they were onto them, but they weren't that kind of person. They were they were just pretending to be it as long as they could until their, until their reality um, became very much prevalent, <laughs> very, very much revealed. You know, you can't fake forever. And so they faked as long as they could, and then I was like, oh gosh, this is a demon. Um, and then, you know, ended that and got rid of, got rid of those people, thankfully, but they take away from my life's force. They made me not want to do anything. It made me want to like not even exist. It was really heartbreaking to go through. Um, so I feel like a real partner, a quality partner is going to bring more life into your life. You know, lift you up and support you through it. And maybe as I go, as I keep on making music every day, if I keep putting a song out a day, maybe I get faster and faster. Maybe at some point I can wake up in the morning, make the beat real quick, like have it in my head. Pop, pop, I got the beat. Okay, just the beat. Cool, cool. Put the vocals on there. Okay, I like that. That's great. That's great. Um, put the other instruments on real quick. You know, what do I like? What do I feel about this? Okay, this is great. Song is done, you know, mix and master it real quick, make sure I hear, okay, this is how I want to mix it, this is what I want to hear, this is good, this is good, perfect, it's done, a couple hours, song is done, now I have the rest of the day to do what I want, you know, theoretically, that would be the best way to do it, because it wouldn't take up my whole day, if I can make a whole song in a couple hours, a focus, because a lot of the songs, the hard part's already done in these songs. Like, I already wrote all the songs. Well, most of them. And then when the, whenever I write a new song, the universe gives me the whole song at once. The universe, like, I, I just have to pause. And I pull out my voice memo or I pull out a note. And I write the whole song. Usually at one time. Sometimes it comes in, like, two sections. But I just, I hear the song. Like, I just hear every lyric of it. And it just comes to me and I write it. That's how I know I'm supposed to do that. That's how I know that that's what I'm supposed to do in life. Everything else, all my other companies, I'm thankful for them. I love it, but I feel like I did them for, you know, security. It's the security of, you know, having the impact. Plus, I need them. Like, I, I need, I've built them as tools for my investment and for, I love real estate and I love branding. Um, let's see. The partner needs to be, um, Shay said that the partner, the partner needs to be as motivated as you and have their own crap to do equally yoked. Partner, not party. Yeah. 
Yes. Um, I feel that. I feel that. Or they, or they could be, they could be like a sub sub a submissive kind of partner who, just like, enjoys supporting what I'm doing already. Just some partners like that who just love to be in a support role. That could be a great partner too. You know, that just wants to make sure that, you know, I have everything I need as I'm building what I'm building. And maybe they don't have that maybe they don't have that much going on, but they like they keep the peace in the house. And they just are, they're not like putting expectations. They're trying to lift weights for me and enjoy our time whenever we have it. We're not calling in drama. Like I will not I will never be in a relationship again where we're fighting every day. Are you serious? I don't want to fight at all. Like, there's no reason to be fighting. Like, what are we doing with these fights? In my last relationship, we fought all the time. Every day was like a different battle. It can start off good, and then we just like wonder when it's going to turn. When is the day going to take a turn for the worse? You know? Toxicity. So sad. It didn't have to be that way. But it was. Mm heartbreaking reality so I won't accept that any day anymore I refuse to accept that I just I would rather be I would rather be alone I literally would rather just be single um and like I said already my day's full I don't get I don't get I mean I get lonely sometimes at night when I'm in bed and I'm just like oh it'd be nice to have somebody to like cuddle with right now but then also I love to just lay out in the bed and not, not give a dang about anything. Just pass out. Just be like, just sprawled out having a good old night rest. Um, wake up when I want to wake up when I want to wake up. Whew. Um, unbothered. Undisrupted. I, I, I'm good with that, you know. 1.2 thousand likes right now. Yes, you guys. Thank you. Um... Shay says, how did it go? How did it get to that? The fighting every day. Oh. Um, I think the fighting every day just came from a toxic relationship. Like, it... I remember first we were, like, really cool. And then when he started cheating on me, on the marriage at least, other ones were different stories. They, uh, they were different. It was a different situation. They all were... They all sucked. They all were toxic in their own way, but... The marriage was the longest one. Um, I think it starts off like the honeymoon era and stuff. Everything's great. But then when the trust was broken and I found that he at first cheated and lied, um, the trust was broken. You really can't, you can't really heal a trust. That's why I think if, I mean, if I ever got cheated on again, it would just be done at the same moment. It's like, oh, okay, you cheated. Cool. Bye. I wouldn't even be mad. I wouldn't even be like, how dare you? I'm going to, you know, burn your clothes and I'm going to do this and do that to you, hit you back. I, I really, really wouldn't care. I'd be like, oh, okay, you cheated. Cool. Um, So lose my number. Pack your bags to the left. In fact, you don't even have any bags here. Um, I already sent your bags to wherever you're going. Like, it's already there. Um, Goodbye. And don't call me again. You know, peace out. It's all good. You know, like, I don't, that's just a, such a level of disrespect that it's like, why, like, I think that's the issue. Like, my internal, my internal feeling told me to leave then. It said, like, leave now, like, this is not, you you can't get cheated on and just stay, like, I don't believe in that. And, but I did it. Um, every day when you fight against what your intuition is telling you, you're gonna create fights in the in the in the real world too because other disrespectful things are gonna show up and now there's no there's no patience for that there's no tolerance because your tolerance has already been um, it's already been used up it's gone it, you, everything is gone from having been disrespected and you know betrayed so then anything becomes another thing to fight about. So, it was just downhill from that first day, the first lie. Um, and sometimes I wonder, like, what if I reacted a different way to that first lie? What if, cause they, you know, they always do that thing where, like, oh, I did this, but you're the one I want, baby, you're the one. And I made, you know, I realized that after I was cheating on you, that you're really the one. And it's like, 
the fact they cheated on you in general is like, bye, like, peace out. I don't care what they say afterwards. That's just more lies. Just all kind of lies. Um, and so, oh my goodness, um, December issue, can you please repeat your comment? Because they filtered your comment again. I'm so annoyed, but go ahead. Can you please repeat your comment? I'm thinking it was you, unless there's somebody else in here. But go ahead and repeat that in a different way. Um, but yeah, I should have left them immediately. Because at that point, I was fighting myself. At that point, I was fighting myself. Like, it was, I knew I should have been gone. And then you just end up fighting each day. And it could be a pretty day. And then something will happen or you're just like, nah, this person ain't not for me. The universe will tell you over and over again. And the more you fight it, the more you'll end up fighting. Um, Shay says, OMG, what? I know, right? Do you see where it says? Some people said, I'm happy you're free now. I used the past tense of free why is that censored? I can't. The past tense of freed. Freed. Like freed. Um, I don't know. I, we, let's not even wonder why. <laughs> why TikTok censors certain things. Because it'd be so random. You have to watch every single word you say on this app. Every single word. You have to think of it consciously. Otherwise, they would just take away your... Take away your rights. Take not your not that, not that there's a right to be on here, but just to take away your ability to <clears throat> to connect to your people. So I'm watching every word. Um, but yeah, I just it's it's really sad when I see I see relationships and they're like, oh yeah, we fight sometimes. Yeah, we do like you don't have to fight. Like my best friend, we never fought. We've been best friends for a long time. We've never years and years, over a decade. Over a decade, we've never had one fight. We've never had one fuck one fight. We just support each other and embrace each other. Um, if that if we were a different orientation, if I wasn't LG, LGB or whatever, <laughs> then that would have been a wife material, you know, because you know, I would have understood and I would be able to we would be able to show up for each other, you know. But you know, thankfully we're best we're best friends, and I feel like that's a great space to be in, and I'm very thankful. But it's like you don't have to fight with your people, with their, with your partner. It's, it doesn't have to be that way. But yeah, for so many people, it is that way. Um, Shay says, "TT need to leave my voice alone and leave me be." LOL. Exactly. TikTok needs to leave you alone. Let you be. Let you live your life, Shay. Goodness. <laughs> mm. Y'all see this fuzziness right here on the top part? That's my hair getting thicker. This is new growth. New growth right here. Yes. All that new growth is going to come in. I'll be able to use that to fill up these braids even more. Oh, it's going to be so good. i got to be careful with it so it doesn't come out. <laughs> I'm being so careful with these. With this. Like, even these braids are not tight. Like they're, they're all like pretty loose to braids. Like, I don't really make them... I don't care what they look like as much as, as they protect. I'm all about protecting the hair. Um, and that's great too because I probably wouldn't let me see, let's say let's say that I was dating somebody right now. How would I put this together? Because I wouldn't want to look like this if I'm dating somebody. I mean you wanna be yourself, but also like uh, you wanna be a little kinda of put together. So I just do that. I can put my hat on. But I don't know how I would do the beard. Just at night I would do this. Cause then in the morning, what if you're having morning morning um you know, intimacy. <laughs> like you don't want to be looking like with beard braids. I don't know, like that'd be the way. Um Shay says, Have you been putting castor oil on your scalp scalp? No. I only put shea butter. So all I use is shea butter. All I use. But you were saying that, sh that castor oil helps you grow your hair back, right? But the shea butter is working pretty well for me lately. 
So I could do that for the, with those here. Gotta be prepared for my new man. But she, by the time I have a new, by the time I have a partner, my hair might be down to here. <laughs> Who knows? I'm so specific now. And it's funny because I talk to people every day. But I already know immediately if they're even worth anything. It's so rare to find a good person. And I never have found a good person. I never have. All the people I've dated, all the people I've, you know, had intimacy with, like, not one of them was even close to relationship material. And it was in the hundreds of people. You know, I don't, I'm not really proud of that. I'm not I'm, I'm not ashamed of it either, but I'm not, like, proud. Like, oh, yeah, I've been with that many people. It just is what it is. This is what it is. And that's how this world is. Like, this LGBT world has become... Where you just throw yourself around, but not anymore. Like I'm trying not to do that. Every now and then, I have a, a moment where I do something a little reckless. Um, but for the most part, I really like. I want something bigger. I want something deeper. I want like a real connection. You know, I felt like I had that with, or something. I felt like I got something of value with. Um, somebody I work with now, we're still close, but, like, we, I, I felt like we could have something, like, more special or bigger. I don't know how to do these ones. These ones, too. Anyway, I felt like we could have something more special, but I feel like our relationship is better business-wise. Like, they weren't at the same level of commitment that I would, I was willing to do. And so, at least they were honest about it, and I respect that. They were very honest about what they had available for them at the moment. And so I appreciated that. We still talk all the time. Um, but, or often, I don't talk to anybody all the time anymore. Only people I talk to all the time is like my best friend and like my mom and my sister. Like, that's who I talk to like daily and stuff. Everybody else I really don't talk to like that. Like not all the time. Um, but we talk often now. And we're good. And that's like, we did have an intimate situation before. And it's like really one of the only people I've ever been able to have an intimate relationship with and then be able to still maintain like a quality friendship and like a, a fan, almost like my family. It feels like family more of a, of a person now. Um, I've never been able to do that. I've never been able, I've never been able to do that before because I've always been like done with that person. It's like, how dare they? do me dirty like if you break up it's for, for some reason and so I don't really want to continue a relationship of any type with a person who did me dirty but this person never never did me dirty we were together but there was just certain things that I didn't like that happened but it wasn't technically like a lie it was just that we, we weren't in that kind of relationship and it was it was just always known so I feel um I'm okay. I'm okay with how things have been. Wait, is this? Oh, there's another Jack in here. That's so cool. Perfect. I'm so glad. I just found out that my earphones have an, an AUX Jack. So I can use them two different ways. Wireless or by that connected right to the computer. Very cool. Um, but yeah. I don't... I, I'm, I'm proud to be able to have that because... My other friends, like, I have another friend in the, in the in the community. I only have really, like, one real friend that I'm, that is in the community, too. It's in the LGBT world. Like, I have one close friend that's, like, also part of the world. Like, I have other people I know, but I, I, the, the word friend is super specific for me. Like, it's it means a lot. So, I don't have many friends in general, thankfully, because it's not the way. It's, yeah, I'm good. I'm very happy with who, with who I have. But... Like, one of them, the only one I have this is also in the G community. Um, like, I just feel like we're taught to kind of be, like, the toxic stereotype at first. And then you have to grow out of it. Especially if you're, like, a... a a male in the in the G the L G B community, whatever.
you gotta like really find out who you are because if you just go along with the stereotype then you're gonna lose yourself because that's not a true stereotype like that's not even how like RuPaul's Drag Race is not a representation of the queer community at all it's not the only representation not at all but like not it's not the only representation like you don't have to be that kind of you know attitude person and sachet chante like you don't have to do all that like that's not even it's not even how it was in the past or even now so um i feel like i lost my train of thought just now there's something i was going i was going some direction with this i was going some direction but basically i just feel out of space right now where I don't want to, like, go by any of those stereotypes. Like, I want, like, a quality, loyal relationship. Loyalty is key. Loyalty is, like, the absolute key part for me. And it's challenging to find, or it has been challenging to find. But... I'm not gonna be throwing myself around here out here anymore. Like I'm I'm done with that part of life. Um, I'm over that. I'm over that. It's not for me. Um I make I gotta make some really big moves and decisions for my life. And they don't include wasting time. Like on those low frequency activities anymore. I'm over it. Like, it's just not worth it. <laughs> and I think the only reason I did it at first was because you think that's how, that's what it means to come out the closet. You gotta be, now you gotta be out there like this. You gotta be doing what the community community does and what they tell you. That's what it means. That's how you know you're part. Like, the, people have to know that you're in the community so they can connect with you. Like, no, be yourself. Like, some of these times, sometimes these communities can block you from being human at times. Because you think you have to like, oh, the LGBT people don't do that. LGBT people don't think this way or don't. Like, you can, you start thinking that, like, you have to think a certain way because of the community doesn't do the same, doesn't, won't accept you if you think outside the box. And I don't like any box, you know, <laughs> no pun intended, um, or all puns intended, actually. Um, yeah, so, we'll see, but my first love is music, even if I had a partner, my first love would still be music, so I think that I'll just focus on getting my, um, my ability to, like, put a song out a day, I'll work on that first, and then, I don't even, I don't even have anybody I have a crush on right now, I don't even have a crush on anybody, y'all, like, if I had to pick one person right now to like that I would date, if I like they're like you had to pick one person you know right now that you that you would date and like partner with in life right now, you have to just based on who I know at this moment. Who would I pick? Ooh, the one the one I would pick is already dating a girl. He's dating a woman, and oh my god, he's so hot. So that doesn't count because he's like not, I mean, he likes me. Not like in that way though, I don't know. Mm. He's really famous too and we're really cool. He watches my stories. Um, I mean, I thought we were, I thought we hit it off really well. Like, I thought we were gonna like, you know, meet up and stuff. But when I found out that he had a girlfriend a long-term girlfriend, I was like, ooh, this, that's not a good situation. <laughs> this is not, that's not, I do not want to disrespect their relationship. Um, and all, I mean, I, I don't want to be a part of that drama. I want a single person with no drama. So many of the guys that I've had crushes on, like, have been, you know, in the bi spectrum or, like, very masculine, so it's just been a mess. This Shay says, I keep finding these men these men who are far more interested in me than I than I them. That's the truth. So many I don't I don't even put them in 
I don't put them up for consideration. If I'm not interested, they're not even up for consideration. But I feel you, like, they'll be, they'll be way more interested. And then sometimes I entertain it and just to see what they say next and find out that they, they just like me because of how I look or something. It's like, that's not going to last that long. Because at some point I'll be old and wrinkly, like all of us. Everybody, everybody's going to get, get like that. So there's got to be more of a connection than just that. Um, it's got to be something like you got to really care about that person and really be intrigued and, you know, want to commit to that person or something, you know, it's got to, it's got to be bigger. But if I had to pick anybody that I know right now, like I have to be one person. And I could, you know, anybody. really don't know y'all like i said the one the the first three options i'm thinking of they all have girlfriends that's not good i need somebody who's like just knows what they want are part of my same community i don't mind if they're bi but i want them to be with me like i want, I want a monogamous situation and the main ones I thought about, like I have no crush. Like I have not one crush right now. That's so crazy that I have a crush. I feel like I've always had some crush. But I think like my qualification for a crush has gone up. And so if that's the case, then whoever I would partner with has gone up too. I gotta really think about this. There's gotta be somebody. Like if I if they if I had to pick one person I know. Does Beyonce count? Because I love Beyonce. I would I would definitely switch for her. Um, you're not going to be old and wrinkly. Although, well, Jesus didn't age. <laughs> Don't say that, Shay. If you say I'm not going to be old and wrinkly, then I might I might end up passing away young. Oh, don't say that, Shay. <laughs> but thank you. I know what you mean, though. I know what you mean. But I need to... I, need to, I hope like, being old and wrinkly is a blessing. You know? We have these bodies for this temporary time. So, I'm thankful for it while it lasts. Um, what would I really... Who would I be with? I'm trying to think. There's got to be somebody I'd be down with. Everybody's so annoying. There's nobody like on my wavelength. I wouldn't even pick any of my exes at all. They wouldn't even be qualified for... That partner that I would want, that I would like, really mesh with well. There was this hot guy who, um, who checked me out at the grocery store, but I don't know what community, community he was part of, but he was so hot. I felt like he kind of flirted a bit, but I don't know, he, he may not have, he may have just been nice. I don't know, he was so hot though, my gosh. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything like that. I don't even know his name. It's me, it's me, I'm a little short. I'm a little short for you and would need to go to a special toy place to keep you happy. <gasps> no, you did not, Shay. Shay, you better stop playing. You're too funny. And, and who said that I'm a, who said that I'm a bottom? I stay topping. Are you serious? I don't mean, what kind of special toy are you gonna get for me? <laughs> I'm on top of the world, Shay. Are you serious? <laughs> uh -uh, I can't stand bottoming, but I love bottoms. I support and respect bottoms to the utmost. I, I'm, I don't know why the bottoms get disrespected. They're like, oh, you're just a bottom. Da -da -da. It's like, um, bottoms are so important. Bottoms are the most important part of the community. So, but I'm not part of that. I am definitely on top of the world. <laughs> Um, December issue, and that's just because I don't have the strength to become to be a bottom. I don't have the strength. I don't have the tenacity. I don't have the pain tolerance. Mm. But I salute the bottoms of the world. I salute you. <laughs> Shay said I screamed. <laughs> I can't with you, Shay. I cannot. Oh my gosh. Dang it. I can't think of anyone. Well, I only have one friend that's in the community, but 
that's like my brother. I would never like even be interested in that. Um. So yeah, dang it, it's gotta be somebody. There's some people. There's some people at the gym that are like crazy hot. Oh my gosh, there's some hot people at the gym, but they seem straight. They seem pretty straight. Like I don't. I don't know, but they're like, oh my god, the hotness. The gym, the gym I go to is so nice too, so it's just, oh my god, they're so hot. It's, it's, it's a, it's a problem, like, a different level of hotness, way different level. But yeah, I don't think that they, I don't, I don't know their names, I don't know any of these people. I just go to the gym and mind my own business, med meditate, do my own work on my phone, you know, do what I want to do, do my stretches and keep moving. That's all I do. I don't talk to any of these people. Mm -hmm. Um, dang it, there's gotta be somebody. Okay, let's like I'll just say celebrity too now at this point. Who's a celebrity? Since I don't know anyone, I gotta go to celebrity now. If I if I had a magic genie, I was like, this is the person I would want to be with. I know I used to say Chris Brown, but honestly, I mean, I love Chris Brown. He's so hot to me, but he's he couldn't be faithful like that. Like he's that's not the space he's in. Um, I need like a loyal person, like a quality loyal person. I can't think of anybody in the celebrity world. The celebrities are all worn out. They are all public property for the streets. Azalea and her. The deboned cat. Shay, why are you always disrespecting my friend Azalea? I love her. Oh, you're so rude. Not her deboned cat. Take that back right now. <laughs> you gotta take that back. I'll take it back for you. I apologize for you, Shay. I apologize for you. How dare you? Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Who, uh, who would I be like down, down for? I think Jason Momoa is so hot, but he's he's so on the streets. They all the the Hollywood people just be in the streets. Everyone in Hollywood is everyone in Hollywood sleeps with everyone. LOL. I couldn't do it. Yeah, me either. I'm done. I've already had my days of being on the streets like that. I want I want monog monogamy next. Like I'm gonna stop even doing like even some of the extracurricular activities I do nowadays. Every now and then, very rarely. I'm gonna stop those two because it's not even worth it. It's like, what am I doing? I don't know these. I don't even know these people. Like, what? What is this for? But what a celebrity that y'all would know. Mm, there's gotta be somebody. There's gotta be somebody that I'll be like down with. That quality person. Frank Ocean is kind of a mess, so I don't know if I would do do with him. Um, did you hear? Did, did you hear Janae's like seventy five year old father got some woman pregnant? LMAO. He sounds just like Doctor Sebi. Doctor Sebi was getting people pregnant up until his eighties or seventy. Like when until he passed away, he was still having babies. <laughs> so, you know that's how it is. That's just how it is. Um, yeah, it's crazy, even though I consider myself an LGBT man, Dr. Sebi, yeah, Dr. Sebi has a lot of kids, Shay, that's right, even though I consider myself an LGBT person, like, man, I think the only person that I would even, like, see as an adequate partner would be Beyonce, and she's married to Jay-Z or whatever, but, like, that would be, like, the only adequate partner that's like at that level that I would want to have a partnership with, you know? Um, I can't really think of anybody else who's like really qualified. Mm, just gotta be somebody like if, you know what? Lately, I think August Alsina, he's a mess though. He's kind of a mess. I don't know if he can be, if he can be, um, 
like faithful or whatever. He's with somebody now. He has he has like a boyfriend. But August Alcina is like super hot to me. Super hot. And his boyfriend's even hotter than him to me. Well they're oh they're both hot. They're both like kinda equally hot. But anyway, like they're just they're both so attractive. Um and like the vibe. Their vibe is like totally the vibe I like. So maybe August Alcina um who was Jada Pickett Smith's entanglement? <laughs> like I would, I would totally be down for like him or his boo. Who <laughs> don't even know his boo's name at all. I follow him, but I don't even know his name. I forgot. I forgot his name. Is it Zoo? Like Z U H or something? Little Nas X. Oh my gosh! No, Little Nas X. I'm, I'm good. Um. I'm good on Little Nas X. Mm. He's funny though. I do like Little Nas X a lot. But I'm like, I don't know. Like, why would I say I'm good on him? I think he's very attractive. Super hot. Um, could I date him? Let me think. Let me think. Let me really think about that. Because I've like been around him before. So I'm like trying to think of like that would be. He's a little too much of he's he's a troll. I'm a troll too, I guess. So, mm. hmm. If you have to think about it hard, then it's a no. No, I'm just. I feel like, I feel like maybe because sometimes, when you're in the industry, like I like I'm in the industry, I've been around these people. Sometimes the media projects them a different way than they are. And so I'm thinking about, like, the times I've had with him personally and then, then, like, his social media personality, too. I'm trying to think, like, what made me think, like, oh, no, like, I couldn't be with him. I think it's, I think it's how... Let me, let me look at it. Let me see again. Let me just see. Oh, crap. My camera just won't change. Hold on. Okay. Let me just see one more time. Little Nas X. I definitely think he's super attractive, so I'm like, what makes me say, like, no? Um, I think it's because I feel like he's letting the industry, he's just trolling, too, I don't know, there's something about, hmm, he'd be hot to, like, be with, I mean, I would definitely be with him in another way, for sure. Um... I mean, he's really hot. Little Nas X is super hot. How old is he? Hold on, let me see how old he is. Because I usually date older guys. But I don't mind a little bit younger or whatever. Like, let's, see, let's see how old. Oh, he's 23 years old. I was just with a 24-year-old a few, like, weeks ago. <laughs> I had like a moment, but they were like closeted. It was so annoying. I'm so tired of closeted guys. Such a waste. Such a waste. Um, he was like 24 though, so a year older than him. Um, hmm. Yeah. I, can't, I would be down. He's very talented. He's talented. He's funny to me. Those big old delicious lips. Oh my gosh. His lips are so hot. He's so hot. His whole face, his, his whole everything is really hot. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me see. One more. Sorry, I'm looking at pictures. <laughs> um... Okay, little Nas X. Let me look up one more photo, and then I'm gonna make my decision. <laughs> I'm such a mess. What am I even doing? He said, "Look at look at me playing matchmaker. If I end up with little Nas, and you get to come to the wedding, okay?" Um. Oh my gosh. I mean, if I'm really honest, yes, like, 
He's like super hot. Okay, well. Yeah, he's super hot. Super, super hot. So, Little Nas or like, let me see August Alcina again. August Alcina. Okay. Alcina, here he goes. It's weird that it's the same name as my nephew, but my nephew was just born, so this, he, he had the name first, August Alcina did. Um, let's see. Let's see, August Alcina, boyfriend. And he spells it differently, too. This guy does. Okay, let's see this picture. It's funny that Jada Pickett turned two men to the other side. She turned Will Smith to the, to the other side in and, and August Alcina. Dang, August Alcina's man is so hot. His, his boyfriend's name is Zu. Z-U. If I'm really real, like, August is hot and I've been following him for a while as far as like his social media stuff and his like, his music and stuff like that. But if I had to pick between him and his boyfriend, Zoo, I would pick Zoo in a second. He's like ridiculously hot. I don't even know what he does. But dang, he's like such a vibe. He's just chilling. He's just, oh my God, he's like, he's ridiculous. He's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I pick Zoo. So that's how I pick. <laughs> if I had to pick anyone, um, to manifest. I see the other video of them too. It's other picture. Yeah, it were. Um, just out there and creating and stuff and being, doing the most. <sighs> I'll be out there doing the most and I feel like Zoo is just like his anchor and chilling and he's hot and so if things don't work out, which I it probably won't work out. Weren't they saying that's his cousin? That's no. They literally didn't they literally kiss on screen? I don't think that that's his cousin. That's his That's his boyfriend, I believe. And there's his boyfriend to the world. Yeah, I don't think that's his cousin. I saw some like him say that this is his bro or something or whatever, but um, but I think he was just saying that, like, how people just say, um, supports a friend. August Alcina supports a friend. But many assume he found a new boo. I don't know. He's so hot, though. Zoo is, like, crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be the vibe. He's, like, perfect. He's so perfect. Like, I don't even know what he does. I never heard his voice. <laughs> I haven't even heard his voice. <laughs> I'm saying he's so perfect. But, um, you like those pretty boys. Um, mm, not necessarily. He's just super hot. Like, this one is, like, very specific hot. But, like, I like rugged. I like rugged dudes. Like, I like even like older dudes sometimes or like I don't know, I like rugged and super manly, super masculine. But he's just sober, he's so beautiful, just dude. Like he's so hot. It's crazy. I feel like he has some masculine to him, but he's also like soft enough to like be chill and loyal. Like he would just be a good person. He seems like he has a good like he's like a good person kind of thing. You know? I don't know. He's super hot though. Um as hot as Little Nas X is, I think that he's like would be doing the most. Um, so I don't know if two of us can be doing the most at the same time. <laughs> Somebody has to be the anchor. Or do you need that anchor? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. I'm, be, I'm going to like be very specific with what I par partner with next. Part of me really is like objecting going towards somebody in the industry as well. 
Like it's very, it's very sketchy in the industry. And like, do everybody want to deal with that? To deal with somebody who chose this world as well, this corrupt world. Um, but I like, I, I would like somebody like rugged. I can't think of anybody who I would think who I would think of right now. I know I used to love like my my like ideal type was Wolverine. Um, so Logan. Um, what's his name? Oh my gosh, I'm having a blank right now. Wolverine. Hold on. I wonder how he looks now, by the way. Oh, Hugh Jackman. I don't know why I even had a, a blank right there. Hugh Jackman. Let's see how he aged. I haven't seen him in a long time. Hugh Jackman, 2022. 20, Let's see how he's looking these days. Because he could get it. Like, he was so... So, so hot to me. Um, maybe maybe because he's Wolverine? I don't know. Oh my gosh, he's so hot still. He didn't get any of that, like, Botox and all that crazy surgeries. He didn't, he didn't do any of that. It doesn't look like it. It looks like he just, like, naturally let in himself, like, age and be just hotter and hotter. Like, oh my gosh, Hugh Jackman. Oh my gosh. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I would want him to grow his hair out though. Like, can you please grow your hair for the beard again? He can try to teach him how to dance for a Christmas movie. Yeah, Hugh Jackman is like, oh my gosh, he's ridiculously hot and he's so like talented. Hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh, yeah. Wow, and then seeing him as, him as Wolverine is ridiculous. It's like done. That's like, him as Wolverine is like the ideal. Somebody, that, oh my gosh, okay. Hmm. Well, so, I guess that's how I pick. I pick Hugh Jackman and Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> and Zoo and Little Nas X can be in the running. So it's good. Those are my types, but I feel like that's such a, a vast variety of types. Um, part of me still like would love it. Like, I feel like at some point Chris Brown's gonna settle down. Like, that'd be so hot. He would still be, I think Chris Brown would still be like probably the number one, even though I don't know if he's ever gonna really settle down. don't know let me see right now how's he looking these days let's see 20 2022 what is chris brown giving 2022 mm -mm -mm. he's looking good he looks amazing Mm. Yeah, Chris Brown is really good. Hold on, I'm zooming in more. Mm -hmm. Dang. Yeah, I think Chris Brown is still the number one. <laughs> he's still number one. Like, he's so hot. It's ridiculous. It's actually, like, out of control. Um. So, there's a lot of people out there. I'm sure there's a lot of people I'm missing that I haven't even seen yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be very specific with whoever I partner with next. Very, very specific. <sighs> All right. I'm out of here. Thank you for playing matchmaker with me. <laughs> Shay. Just trying to think of my, but like really I need to make work on my music first. And then if a partnership comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm fine either way, but I would like to manifest what I do desire and stay away from what I had before I'm coming to the wedding. He said, we're going to do a, we're going to do a virtual reality wedding <laughs> so everyone can come. <laughs> Shoot. Why not? Why not? I'd be fun. A VR wedding. If I ever do marriage again, I don't even know if I want to get married again. I'm saying it was so, it's such a hell the first time. I just don't even know if I want to go through that. 
I won't do that again. I think it's better to just like be partners in life and then if you ever want to leave, you just like separate and keep it going. Like you don't have to go through all this divorce paperwork and legal stuff. It was just such a mess. Like I just don't, I don't think I need to do that again. Uh huh. I ain't just everyone. Uh, I, he said, uh, 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 I ain't just everyone. Oh my gosh. No. I'm just saying that we, we would do like a virtual reality. I don't, know if I, would, I don't even know if I'll do a, a wedding, but I feel what you're saying. Yeah, you're not just everyone. Tell me you to somebody. Tell me you to somebody. <laughs> Shay said, uh uh, you ain't gonna play me like that. <laughs> but no, I mean, even, even the wedding I did have, I had it at the courthouse. We, we got married at the courthouse because I wasn't trying to like have anything public or a public situation, but I would be open to doing one virtual reality wise. But I think it'd be, I think that'd be really cool. <sighs> All right. All right, rockers and mercuryans, I'm going to jump off of here and go. I want to work, do some more cleaning, but I kind of want to go to sleep. I don't want to get married tooting that bill for a, br a bunch of people I don't really like exactly. Nah, we just got married right at the courthouse. Like I said, it was mm, cost, what, 40 bucks. <laughs> um, December issue says, bye, Rock. Bye, Shay. Good to see you. Thank you for entertaining my, my, um, my, my love life manifestations. I love to come on here and think of, because you have to be really clear, you have to be super clear on what you want. Otherwise, you just get anything. So, I have to be super clear. Otherwise, I'll, I'll end up miserable again. So, not not trying to do that. So, rock on, Mercury. I'll see y'all on the next live. Bye. Rockmercury.com.